Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you, 24 January here, ECB Day. A couple things on my mind. Uh, Aussie looks terrible. Uh, core short Aussie still paying, paying the piper. Uh, so we like to sell this Aussie um, in this 20 to 45 range now. We got a move up to 66, uh, which was great because we were able to get paid on a high one last night. Now we've got bearish engulfing. Some news about NAB raising mortgage rates or whatnot. Combined with the risk off, combined with China, uh, Aussie looks like it is heading lower. So we want to sell high ones in Aussie today again. Uh, try and sell. 20 and say 40, 71, 20, 71, 40 uh, for a move eventually down to 70, 70. It's already down a half percent now. Uh, you don't want to chase this, I don't think, down here at 05. So if, if you're square, just try and be patient. Uh, so try and sell a high one today. Dollar yen, as we talked about yesterday, uh, this also looks like a sell to us. It just pinged 110 the figure yesterday. That was it seemed too easy, um, but you don't want to look a gift horse in the mouth. Uh, core short dollar yen looks looks the way. Uh, if you were lucky enough to sell up in the 90s, uh, that's great. Just hold those. If you're not short yet, you want to just sell between 75 and 85 today. There will be vol uh, in dollar yen ECB today, so. I mean, we're not expecting much from ECB, but there will be some sort of nonsense fall, which will hopefully give us an opportunity to sell some more dollar yen on a high one. But core short dollar yen, this is not really a tradable short. This is just hold short. Uh, equities turned pretty hard yesterday, but now have stabilized a little bit. But if the ECB is negative, as, I, as I've think they will be. We should get another leg down um, through this 2610 area, really through 26 to figure. Um, just looks like risk has turned, so this is the side that, that we're playing. Take a quick look at cable. Uh, worked out pretty well yesterday. A little choppy um, between 70 and the figure, but eventually we got what we wanted here. Uh, and now we're just square. We're at the 200-day moving average. God knows where cable is going to go. Technically, it looks very, very big. Uh, but we took some money off the table here. We're not going to. We're not going to marry this uh, this position. Next stop uh, on the top side, there will be resistance at 31.80. Uh, so if you are long and you're more medium term and you are willing to sit through the inevitable headlines about Brexit, uh, 131.80 is your next resistance. And if you missed it yesterday and you want to try and play this, the sort of death knock move or the move to support today, 130.23. So we have support down at 23. We have resistance at 131.80 in cable. We are square. Focus today for us is short dollar yen, short Aussie. I want to bring this euro yen chart up real quick. It doesn't make any sense at all, but technically there will be some momentum traders fooling around at this 125 area. And this is kind of this is this is kind of looks like more of a euro dollar play. Obviously we're short dollar yen, so I'm not really recommending getting long euro yen. I just want to point it out, there will be risk, there will be stops above 125 the figure. So you have all these highs, yesterday's high, 94, four days ago, 97, uh, beginning of January, we printed 09, 06, 99. There will be stops between 01 and 11. Um, it might be a fade. I don't recommend playing Euro Yen. Before the ECB, you have to kind of just trade the news and trade the press conference from ECB. Um, but this is an interesting chart. 
there will be a lot of people looking at it and if you're purely technically driven there will be momentum guys uh, who will be buying these highs so something to keep an eye on again our focus short Aussie short dollar yen but this is a chart that is worth looking at either waiting for the failure or joining in in the momentum if you if you happen to be bullish here again again we are not bullish but I just want to point that chart out quick look at crude uh, down yesterday again so we haven't we're still watching this 5450 level long ways away is not going to happen today uh, the crude has been the real uh, bellwether for risk um, the correlation between crude and risk is very strong these days so you got to keep an eye on crude gets very soft and sloppy below 5180 so just keep an eye on it I, I, I don't know what to be I don't know whether to be long or short crude my guess it looks like we should be short um, but we don't we don't have a position in it but we're just watching it closely because this is giving us signals on what ES is going to do um, and helps us navigate dollar yen timing and Aussie timing today. All right, I'll just leave you with that short dollar yen, uh, core short Aussie. Good luck today, people. Make some money. I will uh, see you on Twitter. Ciao.